many things, you know, inner child approaches. I love inner child. And you could say that the inner child is an ego state, whether you're looking at it from inner child, from transactional analysis with the parent adult child ego states whatever it, it could be described as an ego state and when you're working within that frame you often find there are several in the children there's in the teenagers as well so there is that element that comes in there with emdr eye movement desensitization and reprocessing very 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 powerful um, trauma technique along with working with other things um what we found and what the research is showing and research is bringing the two of them together is that this thing called the node in EMDR, the target, the element that you're focusing on um, with regards to processing their trauma using the eye movements or whatever um, stimuli you're using, that node they've now started thinking is potentially an ego state. So if you're having problems with processing a node, you can then treat it as an ego state and do some ego state work with it empower it to um, have the, the courage to change and then go back to the EMDR. You've got CBT, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy. Um, we also have Loki running right outside. Um, CBT, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy. Um, you can work with the ego state that holds on to particular beliefs, for example. So if you've got somebody who's got a very rigid belief, you can call forth the ego state that holds on to that and carry out therapy, cognitive behavioural approaches on that particular ego state and then go back to your standard um, CBT approaches, for example. And of course, I'm a hypnotherapist um, by training, original training. So um, you can carry it, uh, use it certainly within hypnotherapy as part.